Hi guys. It is another gray, gloomy day here in the end times in the former paradise of Garfield, Texas here on this depressing Friday, September 28, 2018. At least it's fairly cool, so that means I need to get back to uh, what used to be my garden. Good God. And deal with that. And before I do that, I need to dive into my ecological meltdown roundup rant. But before I even do that, we need to dive into the Humpty Dumpty Tribe mailbag to see what's on the minds <coughs> of alert listeners. And this is alert listener, ha alert tribes member, happiest gnome. I think we've already we heard from Happy recently, but uh, once again, Happiest Gnome makes the cut today. I guess this is to me personally. <clears throat> Brother, I know the character Hambone is depressed, bitter, bereft, and neurotic, but when you're describing the artistic agenda at arm's length, you are Sam, and framing it as failing to reach one goddamn person is fucked up. I'm going to say this one more fucking time, because I'm not fluffing your dick. I'm trying to make a point about fucking reality based on my lived experience. Okay, here is Happiest Gnomes point about fucking reality. Quote, this catastrophe is gonna hit some people like a moral injury and it's gonna make them neurotic. That is certain. And neurosis is torture. That is certain. My head is light now that I am out. I'm not sure what that comment means, but oh well. My head is light now that I am out. There is nothing more acidic to the soul than being surrounded by happy, plastic, ignorant, corporate fucks or blissfully naive friends in the grip of a charismatic sadist. The mind is drowning in injustice, and the soul is twisted out of shape by horror nobody acknowledges. You live as a corrupted simulacrum. Okay, I had to go look at the, the definition of simulacrum. <coughs> it is a slight, unreal, or superficial likeness <coughs> or semblance, an effigy, image, or representation. Thank you for the vocabulary lesson. Uh, so what am I? You live, meaning I live, you live as a corrupted simulacrum, sim simulacrum watching helplessly through a twisted lens in Lynch's red room as a toxic, emotional doppelganger destroys your life. I was in unendurable spiritual agony from soul murder from a deranged sadist followed by five more psychos all confirmed in two years while coping with abrupt, coping with abrupt, and I found a voice that lowered the static to tolerable pain, and a laugh, are you kidding me, a fellow neurotic with a taste for contempt for the clueless fucking morons Hooray! Shit! This character, Hambone, matters and will only matter more. Heels 
and will only continue to more people with each passing month facing a horrifying reality. Sam, I wish the money would roll in right now. Yeah, right. But if it never does, please know you are one of the good guys and you are appreciated. And brother, if you can't split the toxic emotions between self and character, you're suffering not from PTSD, but from a moral wound. Cassandra had the exact same gash in her mind. Purge, dude. It feels awesome. <laughs> Sound like you're speaking from the voice of experience, brother, happiest gnome. And then I just want to touch on, good Lord, how many comments have I received about the new my new love interest that I have stumbled upon on Pile of Fish dating service. So Truth Warrior has written us a poem about Pile of Fish dating service, although I think Truth Warrior could be referring to any internet dating service in this poem. Take it away, Truth Warrior. Drunks and losers, dwarves with limps, flows and hoes, and one-eyed pimps. Down the alleyway they creep. They're all your friends when you can't sleep. Come with me and you will see a late night freak show jubilee. My uh, response to Truth Warrior was actually 99% of them, meaning the women that I have found on um, Pile of Fish, actually 99.9% .9 of them could bore the fucking paint off the side of my house. In 300 or so of these women I have pawed through, not one of them has defined herself as a tree hugger. I have never once seen one reference to the state of the planet mentioned as a personal interest or conversation starter. This woman, the one that I picked, was the one who stood out in the 500-ton vat of vanilla ice cream that I have fallen into. And uh, that is the, uh, the, the bottom line, is uh, if you ever want to peek into just the absolute vapid, clueless society that we have become, Go on to any one of these internet dating sites and you too will be ready to slit your wrist uh, at the end of a couple of hours. You know, they're just, they're, they're just these little interchangeable... Uh, it's just like I'm, I'm looking, reading a, a bunch of mannequins or something. There, there is not one with the possible exception. Maybe the possible exception. I'm up to three, and 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 I'm being very, uh, very optimistic here. Uh, maybe three uh, of these women would have any clue, any clue, on any level, uh, what the hell Hambone Little Tail, the fictional character the corrupted simulacrum with the moral wound, Hambone Little Tail, uh, is all about. And if she did understand it, she would run screaming back into the 500 ton vat of vanilla ice cream that any one of these goddamn uh, internet dating sites uh, I am quite sure I could have a more stimulating conversation with a sex bot at the new Houston uh, sex bot brothel uh, getting ready to open than uh, trying to find an intelligent conversation uh, on one of these dating sites. 
we're fucked. <sighs> or we're not fucked. Anyway, I got to uh, wrap this up and come back with my ecological meltdown roundup rant coming up in one minute. Bye, guys.